It looks like a regular wood shop, but it's more than that. This room looks like a regular multi-use storage space, but it also is more than that. And while this looks like just a few people sitting around chatting about life, it's much more than that. This is the Clay Tree Society on Old Victoria Road in Nanaimo. Every day they host about 120 adults with various developmental disabilities through six different programs and they're adding another. But some renovations are necessary first. Well, the renovations come about because I did quite a lot of research in the community to find out how Clay Tree could expand with what was needed in the community. And one of the things that we can see is everybody's living longer. Um, you know, our participants with developmental disabilities are living longer, the general population are living longer. So there is a great need for a senior center. And that's where the students enrolled in Leadership Vancouver Island come in. Caleb Wildemanuel represents Team Seed. They have chosen the Clay Tree Society as their applied community project. One, uh, the model that the leadership uh, uh, Vancouver Island follows is lead self, lead others, and lead community. The first two portion of lead uh, self and lead others are you learn in the classroom with practice with your coaches, and there's a second portion which is a leading community, and that's where the applied uh, community projects comes in, and that will allow us to get in group of four or five and go out to the community and learn the processes or the steps that we learn in the classrooms and then apply it to our uh, uh, communities. The options for applied community projects within Leadership Vancouver Island are vast. The program started in collaboration with the Nanaimo Chamber of Commerce and Vancouver Island University 11 years ago with curriculum running September through June each year. Here at Clay Tree, the seniors program cannot begin until this room is made suitable, which includes installing a washroom. It's absolutely integral to Clay Tree Society to forge partnerships with the greater community in Nanaimo and the wider area. My favorite that Clay Tree is going outings. And my favorite is all the lovely staff. Well, their lives are enriched because years ago people would be in uh, institutions which thank goodness we don't have those any longer and they would be so isolated and um, it was that they were considered different to the rest of the community and and they're not they're just a general general part of the population you know so for them their lives are enriched because they can just become normal just like everybody else they just want to have a job or they want to have friends and they want to have the inclusion that everybody else is entitled to when we move out to the community and when we trying to do this uh, leadership uh, uh, project uh, right away within the first two or three meetings with the Clayton society we found out that it is um, less about us and more about the people that we serve the participant that we are helping here are actually pure individuals that are really don't need anything from from you other than just a space for the, for them to be who they are and so while the participants here at clay tree be who they are and the students from vancouver island leadership's team seed develop into the leaders they can be the programs that have been offered here since 1957 continue to grow and meet the needs of the community. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Kate Bergen.